Also turned you guys up. You guys were a little quiet last week. Not because you were a little quiet in playing, but your audio was quiet. Welcome everybody to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us three ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. You play Dungeons and Dragons! Thank you. Previously on Bears and Dragons, what happened last time? We found the egg. And I immediately destroyed it. Mm-hmm. Well, you found the egg uh, thanks to a friendly little flump you ran across. Mm. That That's my major takeaway from that session, is we finally found the egg and I destroyed it. Okay. That's fair. Pretty much what it was. <laughs> yeah. A lot of searching the tunnels and then finally finding you. There you go. There you go. We found uh, the supposed hand of the dead guy. Hopefully, yeah. it was there his. And the ring that it had. I don't think we ever identified it. Yeah, no, I, I still have it in my pocket. I was waiting until we get out. Did we get out? Yep. Of the caves? Oh, crap. You got out and uh, you presented some of your findings, uh, a, a book and a provider. You found in the... Uh, Met up with a. Where is it? Maybe it's up. Here we go. Ilsa, Y L S A. And you provide her with the uh, surface coins, or surface coin. And uh, that the uh, Darrow had dropped or had, as well as a book of notes. And she provided you with a reward. Okay. And recommended you make your way to Blingdenstone if you were attempting to go to the surface. Yeah, we can leave now. Can't we? Yep. Anyone hmm. you would like to talk to? Probably Karad wants to talk to, uh... We need to talk to... Themichard. Are you coming with us? Karad? <laughs> to, to go see Thumberchad? Oh, yes. I I, I I misunderstood the question. Unless you were asking a different question. You said you were coming with us? What? And when he was just said, we need to go see Thumberchad. Let, let's oh, just yeah. go see uh, Chunky Boy. Chunky Boy? <sighs> I can't. Th Thimber Chard. I mean, close. Better than it's been in the I will, past. Well, for now on, call him Chunky Boy, okay? <laughs> I think he was thinking about that in character. Buddy calling him? Is it Spuddy or Lassiter that's actually saying the name wrong? Yes. Me. 
Spuddy is saying it wrong. Glasser, I'm pretty sure, could say it right. But because we do not share the same mind. Or our voice. I am the voice of Lassiter. I do. I am not thinking for Lassiter. But aren't you? Aren't you though? <laughs> well, apparently the voice of Lassiter is saying is saying Thumbertrod's name incorrectly, or having trouble saying it correctly, I should say. So, I would assume that Lassiter's voice would end up not being able to speak uh, Thumbertrod's name. So maybe Lassiter would be calling him Chunky Boy. We, we can make it so Lasseter calls him Chunky Boy. I mean, I don't mind getting eaten by a dragon because of disrespect. I'm just saying your explanation <laughs> <laughs> had some holes in it. That's all. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So, uh, in the guise of stool, make your way down December Chod's Lair as a group. As yes. Uh, you see a s couple of guards at the entrance. Uh, <clears throat> you see the uh, just the, off to your right, you see the entrance to where the Keepers of the Flame have set up shop nearby. Uh, we'll just I'll just wave at them. Uh, show, show the uh, our symbol thingy sigil. Just walk by. I'm trying to give you a eye, just kind of like watching you when you pass. I will watch them too as we pass. You walk down the corridor <clears throat> or into the uh, giant horde. Uh, Sure, where uh, laying on it, all comfy cozy, is a giant, as in plump, chunky, for lack of a better word, red dragon. It says, ah, more of you back. Garage, you brought your friends. What can I do for you? Do you have any secrets? He just kind of like turns around and kind of lowers his head and just kind of like, you know how when a, a cat like stalks its prey and just kind of like has his head near his paws and he gets his head like down low like you're going to tell him some sort of secret. We found the egg. His face drops. Egg? What egg? It's there. Um, the reason the Keepers of the Flame have been on such high alert is because the thing that was stolen was a dragon's egg. You that was. Here, Hannah pulls up and says. Why would they have a dragon egg? Karad? Lass is just staring at Karad. To replace you. <laughs> Sarah takes yeah, a step has... back. <laughs> he is back looking away. directly at you, very upset. What have you done with that egg? I've dealt with it. And the reason they were going to replace you was because you are getting, as you age, you're getting out of their control. You what control? I do the, everything out of my own volition. Sort of. Um, what did you do been... with the egg? I made it so it was no longer a a a a a, a, a problem. It. Garad. 
What did you do with the egg? I froze it. Froze it? I froze it. He, 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 you hear, you hear this, the, like, treasure and coins and just start scattering around behind him as he turns and lowers his head right in front of Parad, or Crad, and he looks you in the right eye and says, you, did you just freeze it or did you destroy it? Yes. That, that, that wasn't a yes or no question. That was a, a either or. Both? Okay, so you froze it and it shattered. Yes. Ah! Excellent! <laughs> yeah. Uh, he jumps, he leaps into the, um, into the air right over all of you. And uh, uh, starts uh, chasing down the hall, and you hear this crunch. And he tur turns back around. And he says, You had better leave. They know. And he looks down the hall. Radio. And they're coming. Okay. Um, I, I, I start moving towards the nearest exit. All right. He, uh, uh, he, he like leaps into the, or, uh, leaps into the air and starts blazing a path down the path down the hall hallway and bursts out out of the uh, Megan entrance, incinerating the, uh, it looks to be about like uh, 30 Duragar who seem to have been in, in keeper robes, robes and armor, who seem to be about to enter into the, ca to the cavern. And he flies up into the air and there is a path um, straight out in front of you, but as you come out of the cavern, you see over, if you glance up, when you glance over to where the keepers have, uh, uh, uh stay at or have headquartered, you see Gardarok, the, uh, lead Gardarok. Uh, the leader of the keepers watch as a very angry red dragon flies towards towards them. They are distracted by an adult red dragon. What do you do? Uh, Lyra is very confused about everything happening. <laughs> questions, questions later. Let's, you, uh, you just hear Kraz's voice. Time to go. We'll talk later. Let's go. 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 Get the guys. Get out of here. Go. We can't see you. <laughs> back to back to layer. Back to layer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Um, uh. Yeah. We'll we'll run towards the layer. Uh. N not towards the fire keepers. I think. Like avoiding the fire keepers, but going towards the layer. All right. Uh, yeah, you would, do oh. see uh, some of the guards uh, starting heading towards where the keepers are at, and they seem to just not pay attention to you, figure you're uh, uh, refugees or, or someone just running from the carnage that is currently happening at the headquarters of the Keepers of the Flame. Is he like fire breathing at like a, a straight line of where he's going? Yeah, he, he's got enough control in his breath of where he's he's doing it. He he really seems to be narrowing where he is. I mean, the the, the, the enclave where 
where the the keepers stay is quite large. They're they're a major institution in the city. Uh, so it seems like he is very much focused on the uh, on the keepers. Okay. Um. Yeah. Questions later. Safely now. Does it look like anyone's coming after us? Uh, roll me a perception check. I shall part. Same to even though it's my dump. Yeah, yeah I am spiritualist. Uh, Syrah, uh, you are the only one to notice there is, uh, a, a Durgar in the Keeper's vestments, uh, who notice you running out, running away from this firefight and suddenly disappears. I'll turn to the group. I, I think they're after us too. I just, I just saw a Durgar disappear. They might be they might be following us back to the lair. We're trying to at least. Let them follow. They probably know where we are anyway. We need to get our friends and get out of here. Um, he's actually going. Actually, did I get rid of that spell like an idiot? Who still made them? La 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 la. Did I? Did I? Did I? Oh damn it! I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. There it is. I will cast Sea Invisibility. You cast Sea Invisibility. And you uh, look around. Round. I'm assuming you're all. This is all like on the move. Yes. I'm uh, looking, like, glancing back behind me as I'm casting this to see where this Duogar went. But... Yeah, you see about like. 10 uh, visible Durgar. Uh, about uh, 7 of them are running towards you and a couple are running towards the carnage. Uh, but they were, they were visible or they were invisible? They were invisible. So she'll... But you're seeing a whole bunch running. of other people. But you're able to make out um, uh, uh, ten invisible uh, creatures. Seven of them are in, coming af in your direction, and uh, there's like three going in the other way direction. So she'll she'll tell the group. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely after us. There's a whole group of them. Oh yay. <laughs> Uh, lots of confusement, but still, I believe we should get to safety first, get our friends, fight, possibly, but our main objective is to get out. Alright, so you're making it, uh, you're getting to, uh, Lodgar's Pharaoh. Uh, and yeah, I'm assuming you're essentially just double dashing, just booking it, right? I mean, if we're if we're truly running, I would I would say I even blade sing to get the extra ten feet of movement. Yeah, uh, I would also say, Sarah, you would also notice uh, a, a invisible Durgar running alongside you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna book it with Blade Song and Dash. And if you want a beach, <laughs> super extra about it. <laughs> Glancing yeah. backward, they seem to be keeping pace. Is there anything you would like to do? The fact that you have people on your tail. Uh, is Sour gonna let us know that there's? They're like keeping up. 
And I, 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 I call out to you, and you guys, and they're, they're right behind us. They're, they're right, they're, they're keeping pace with us. Then, hearing that, I am gonna stop for a moment and uh, cast a wall of fire behind us. Oh shit. Oh shit. We didn't take a long rest, did we? We leveled up. Um, did we take a no. long rest? <laughs> That's two different things. Leveling up and long rest are two different things. Oh, I don't know. Some people play long, leveling up as long rest. I don't know. Who's with us right now? It's us three. The main group, I would say. Holly, Holly and Gage. So Holly, Gage, Syrah, and Crow. Uh, Holly, Gage, Gage, Lasser, Syrah, and Karad. And for shits and giggles, um. We're gonna subtle cast that, so in case they were gonna try to do anything. We're still in. Uh, we're still on Fire Keeper territory, right? Depends on how many rounds have happened. I'm, and I'm just gonna because it's. Sixty feet long, twenty feet high, one foot thick. I'm just gonna do a big line. Enough to call it, like, to blockade them from us. So, like, if we're in an alley or something, just wall to wall. Alright, we're gonna try something here. We would like everybody to roll me initiative. Wait. An advantage in initiative. We want to stop them. Hopefully this does it. At least for a moment. Aha! Cool. Check that out. First things first. I need to do deck saves on the uh, wall of fire, right? So, you see 16. Well. Yeah, 
gonna do it, and it was how much damage? 21. Ouch. Mm. 21. Oh no, you walked there too. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> This is fir my first time using D and D Beyond uh, <laughs> in Counter Builder. <laughs> well, they're not doing so hot as it should be. Uh, hi. Well, they're actually doing hot. They're 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 very they're, hot. They're very hot. <laughs> Ooh. There's one that saved. <laughs> and it's funny, because they don't know where it came from. That's another one that saved. <laughs> oh. Now they're doing pretty well. That's one that didn't do it. Bro. All right. All right, Sarah. So, and I see this wall of fire going up. Um, we hear a bunch of ah! Durgar. Did some of them get through? You have not seen. Uh, you can really tell. Well, also it's not their turn. <laughs> okay. So as far as I know, they're behind this wall of fire. Um. Have we made it back to the lair? Because I, I, I would imagine of stools and everybody you're, else's. Problem. You're, you're approaching Durgar's or uh, the Pharaoh, and I did roll them mainly because uh, they were part of the party. And I couldn't remove them. Also, uh, they may show up. Okay. The reason I asked was I was going to do something interesting, but we'll see. Yeah. Right now, it's the, the the people you're with are just the main party. Well, I am going to. You're currently turn blade singing. Around. I'm blade singing. I am not concentrating on anything until I cast slow in the vicinity of where I just saw them, hoping to hit all of them. All right, it's a decent. So that they have disadvantage on their deck saves and move slower. <laughs> Because I'm evil and sadistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, deck save 16. Oh, sorry, wisdom save 16. Wisdom save. Nope. There you go. And pizza pizza. Yep. Okay, don't need to keep doing that. I think I might be using the wrong template. Nope. How many did, have I done so far? I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. So one of them passed, the rest are currently slow. Uh, Alter time are up to six creatures for your choice. So I would say. Uh, 
So ignore that last one. So two are free. Because you can only do six mark. creatures. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're moving at half speed. They have disadvantage on dex, minus two AC. And if they try to cast a spell, it takes two turns. Well, wouldn't just one be free because there's seven? Yeah, but the spell targets up to six creatures. Yeah, well, only one wouldn't be. You said two. Oh, cause right, one, because one, 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 one saved. Just, yeah, my one. mind's my brain's catching up to what happened that's okay. as I'm talking. No, that's okay. One saved. One was just not like, targeted. Affected, but not targeted. All right, Karad. Um, gonna go ahead and drop concentration on the wall. We're, we're ways away from that now, are we? Like, how far away are we? Uh, I would say, uh, what was the range on the wall of fire? 120 feet. 120 feet? Okay. Uh, I would say they were probably about uh, uh, 30 feet back from you. So each of your turns, you'll be able to get 30 feet away from that. They basically have been, unless they want to... Some of them got pretty singed. So unless they want to try to face that wall of fire, they're probably not going to go through it. So it's probably a good idea not to do. Looking back, do I see anything? Uh, you see a big wall of fire. I, mean, I like any people. Uh, you do see some bystanders that you. I'm gonna just say you missed with the the wall of fire. Um, uh, kind of like peek around the corners from out alleyways. Uh, you do see a plume of fire in the distance of uh, where what was until recently your home uh, with the Keepers of the Flame and you hear the roar of a uh, red drag a very angry red dragon. Um, so I don't see anyone pursuing us. Uh, well, actually... I'm going to control flame and try to have it come five feet out more, like towards us, to see if there's anyone there. I got past it. All right. Um, odds or evens? Evens. Roll me a d20. Damn. Uh, the, a portion of the wall of fire kind of fl flickers out and doesn't seem to have effect anything. Okay. That's all I got. I want to keep moving forward. And you're now 60 feet away from the wall. Holly. Uh, since nothing is really there for her to attack or anything, she's just gonna keep running. Okay. There, there's no reason for her to stop right now. Gage uh, will uh, will uh, make be in the back uh, with the shield. Uh, oh, he doesn't have a shield. Uh, back looking, he's gonna glance back while he's uh, just continuing on with his running. Uh, 
Right, and you kept the wall of fire up, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see, how long is it? How what long? Yeah, because you put up like just kind of like a wall of fire. Is it like ten, ten foot walls, or something like that? If, if it it's wall to wall, wherever like alleyway we are and stuff, I did like wall to wall. Actually, I would like kind of pretty much 60 feet, even like go up roofs and stuff. Okay. We kind of... Like, yeah, 60 feet long. Like, however, like our alley, 30 feet this way, 30 feet this way. Yeah, I would say it's Going... kind of a 30 foot alley and just kind of goes up the, the walls. Yeah. Okay. By the time yeah. it gets up to the top of the buildings, it can't quite. Go all the Go way ahead. over. So, uh, you don't see anything. Uh, you do hear uh, the sounds of uh, some Durgar voices. Say something uh, that you can't quite make out. Lasser. Hello. 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 Cool. Um, I will do a. I will do Eldritch Blast wildly behind me. Like, I, I don't have a specific target. I can't see anyone, I assume. Alright, uh, so, roll me, roll me uh, attack rolls at disadvantage. Yeah, that's the lowest. <laughs> Alright, roll oh. damage. Oh. You hit some. Oh. Alright. And I will keep on running. Alright. as the control instead. Here we are. Uh, Syra. Hey, um, one, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Shushar, I believe, is in here anymore? He, he went somewhere on Oh, boat. he, he had left. He was, I just still had him as part of the, uh, <laughs> part of the party and the thing. Yeah, he went home. Yeah, uh, I, I was just saying because he's on the thingy. Yeah, I'll just try to remember that. I couldn't figure out how to remove some people from the combat tracker. <laughs> Unless, surprise, he's still here. <laughs> and we have more help. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. All right. Syrah. Uh, so, I would imagine that we're quite a ways ahead of them at this point. Yeah, you're what? probably about 60, uh, well, be about 90 feet from the wall of fire. Uh, have we reached the hideout yet? Uh, nope, we still have a little win, so you probably just made it onto the bridges. This, this city's big. Alright, well. She is, as far as she knows, the, well, looking around, does she see any other invisible duogar chasing that she hasn't seen yet? Uh, give me a perception check. Um, I would say probably not. <laughs> uh, nope. You don't notice anything. Maybe it's just from the... Uh, heck, the the adrenaline rush of trying to escape whatever is following you. You're not sure well, if you're completely lost, and well, Karad just put up a big wall of fire in the middle of town. Well, so believing that 
at least the main group is being dealt with, he is going to dash. So that would be 80 feet of movement. But what's your regular movement? It's 30 plus blade song adds 10. Okay. So the rod one. is quite spontaneous. Grant. Oh, yeah. Also, you're visible. Yeah. Mm. Figured as much once I cast Wall of Fire. Mm. Traitor! Why not? Gone this far already. I'm gonna turn around and subtle cast Thimbachard's Blaze. Is that your. Our gains are Scorcher. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, cast. You don't see any anybody. You don't but... see anything, but we might still be so... followed because we Dwargar know how to do invisibility. All he right, knows that. So make your attacks uh, at the disadvantage. It's a deck saving throw. Oh, a deck saving throw. So you're just yeah, because it's just a thirty foot line. In the area. Oh, thirty foot line. Yeah. So thirty feet out towards me, anything that might hit, uh, deck save. Okay, cool. Anything else? Blaze That's of it. fire shoots out out from you. Doesn't seem to affect anything. Besides, okay. maybe setting some sort of kindling on fire that might have been on the ground. Okay. Because I'm assuming you wouldn't be aiming it, like, at buildings or something. No, just, yeah, just... Aim and... <laughs> Holly's just gonna keep running, because... There yeah. you go, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I need to remember to control it from here, not there. Holly's just gonna keep running. Okay. Are there 80 feet for her? Okay. Gage will do the same. So another 60. Shushar isn't here. Grimjar is not here. I'll just not here. Alpha, Beta, Delta, Echo, Basha, Golf. Uh, Karad, make a uh, duck sitting through. Oh no. Alright. Uh, out from an alley. Out from an alley. Uh, appearing as if out of thin air. Air is what you know to be one of the flame keepers. Uh, Zoran. And he takes his uh, flame lance. And uh, fires a fire spray at you. Dealing seven points of damage. What kind of like is it fire damage? Fire damage. I'm gonna um, in reaction, I uh, cast uh, use a sorcery point to give me resistance to fire for the next. What is it? It's one of the um, draconic bloodline mm -hmm. abilities. So you only take three points of damage.
Yeah, for the next hour, I have uh, fire resistance. Okay. Uh, I need you to make another deck saving throw. This makes sense. They got As it you out. hear here saying in uh, Dwarvish, "Are you traitor?" Oh, you make it. Y'all turned your backs on me first. Mm. So. You take four points of damage, but you're resistant, so you take two points of damage. That one's dead. And you see coming out of from a uh, alleyway, uh, which Syra just passed, but uh, Karad, because I believe you only have 25 feet of movement. They changed that too, it's 30, 30 feet. 30 feet, okay. Oh, apparently these guys have less than you do. <laughs> Dwargos have 30 feet now. Yeah, I got the updated... Uh, one for this, and it's, uh, it says they only have 25 feet, so that's why I was like, is this true? This is why I was checking. So I guess yeah. player characters have five more feet of movement. I don't know. Uh, but Cyrus is still faster than you. Yeah. Um, a very large in, or basically enlarged Oh. Um, when Durgar comes out uh, with his fire lance and tries to actually give you a melee hit. Uh, or hits a 13? Nope. And he misses you. Hi, bitch! All this is in Dorvish. Just, psych, bitch! Coming the, out the other side, uh, give me an attack at Gage. Uh, it misses. The third one comes out and... Uh, he's also going to fight. Just gonna make a dip. Maybe throw. Good. Takes thirteen points of damage. Last one comes, uh, another one comes out with a uh, lance and goes after Holly. Enlarge. Does the 20 hit Holly? Yes. Okay. She takes a uh, 18 points of piercing damage. Uh, plus another four. He's not currently raging. Oh, because there is no point in when there is no one to fight. Lassiter. Lassiter. 
You see coming out of the alleys, three large Duragar, and then uh, behind you there's uh, four, not in, or three more, not in large Duragar. All of them carrying some vicious looking lances. Are any of them five feet from me? Uh, I would say there's probably one next to Holly. He's enlarged. Yeah. Uh, 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 crap. Fuck it. I'll just blast. All right. <laughs> you can see him, so. Damn it. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. hit? No, that that did not hit. Oh. Neither of them hit. Wow. Okay. They seem to be uh, uh, well armored. Uh, one of them just kind of flies past it, despite the fact that it's larger than normal Duragar. Uh, the other one hits it in a uh, metal plate at its shoulder. How far, how far away are we from the lair? About a mile. Uh, as we continue to run, if if we're running, are we still running? We are still running. Ah, okay. As we're I'm assuming running. all your movement, like if you take an axe and you're just using your regular movement to to, to move towards the lair. I will start yelling for uh, specifically Ron, but I will uh, include the other names of like Jim Jar. Uh, uh, I haven't used their names in a while. I mean, they're all on the uh, combat tracker. All this <laughs> and Ferris specifically. I don't think the others will. Oh, Saris is a bit iffy, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Saris can do. I know Ront and Jim Jar can fight, but yeah, I'm, I'm yelling for their names as we're running. Right, you're just dashing. Yep. Oh well, I can't dash because I just use my action to do what. Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah, Eldritch Blast, yeah. So. Alright. Zyra! So. How grouped up are the Duogar? They're kind of spread out. There's uh, uh, three of them that are about 15 feet away from Grad. Um, there's uh, one next to Holly, one next to Gage, and. L large ones next to Gage, Holly, and uh, Karat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you and like you and Lassiter are kind of in the front. You're probably further uh, further away from all of them than Lassiter is. Uh, how far away would you say? Uh, probably about 20 feet. Okay. So... Definitely I'm within a short spell range. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to... Uh, were, did they look like they've been singed or hurt, the Duogar? Uh, three of them look uh, badly hurt. And uh, three of them look... Uh, like they've definitely taken some fire to the face, but not not as bad as the other three. So, catching as many as she can in a twenty foot radius, she will drop a third level sleep. All right. So that would be a two is another two d eight. 
Uh, I'd say the uh, three ranged ones would probably be, which uh, they're the ones that look hurt more. What's the average? So 98 are 98. Forty-two. So. so you're able to get the uh, three ones that were firing from range and the one next to Karad to fall asleep. They just go. Uh, uh, is it is it like they just fall asleep or does it is it when they they're drowsy for a turn and then they fall asleep? Nope, I can't remember. They, they just pass out. Right. They, they suddenly pass out. the The big one will drink. And hopefully that gave some of our comrades some space and some space to run, and she'll keep on going forward. All right, Karad, uh, the uh, giant, the double your size Durgar, uh suddenly uh, passes out in front of you uh, and shrinks down to his normal size. Is there any still up? Uh, there are two, one next to Gage and one next to Holly. Um, the one next to Gage, I'm going to go ahead and fire bolt. Okay. One attack. Yeah, that's not going to make it. Or actually, wait, I'm going to, there might be something I can do. I think there is... Did I? One sec, sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. That's just for ability checks. Okay, then, yep, never mind. Yep. Yeah. So it just pings against the armor, you just gonna start running? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Holly has an enlarged Urgar right next to her. That's still up. Mm hmm. He is... Yeah, yeah go, go ahead and rage. Okay. I need a deck saving throw. Nope. They failed, they take six. And then we're going to... Recklessly... Great weapons master. This. Back. Wow. Swing at a miss. Attack number two. That's gonna hit. That ah, will hit. So, uh, her hair bursts out some bubbles. It's oh, only, so. don't mind, minus the 10. Don't take the 10. 
Is that for, yeah. So it's yeah. just 17. Think a great weapon master in a second. Um, so 17. And just lops its head off. Just bring it in. There you go. All right. Okay, you've seen uh, Holly's little breakout. Um, breakout Dawnbringer. <laughs> and take a swing at the Durgar next to him. Misses. He's got two attacks. And hits the armor, but it's just too hard. The swing doesn't. Um, the blade doesn't seem to penetrate the metal. And he's going to make a run for it. And. Durgar is going to try to make an attack against him. And misses. And he's going to keep running. Alright. Snoozing, snoozing. Uh, snoozing. Uh, this one's going to catch up to Gage. Make another attack. This is. And Lassiter. Anyone nearby? Like of the party or just anyone, period? Of, of enemies. Enemies. Um, Not the sleeping ones. There is one that is uh, tailing Gage right now. Excuse me. Would you say he's 30 feet away? Yeah, us? he's probably within 30 feet of you. Yep. I will cast the Jessen and say uh, you you should probably guard our way for us to escape okay, put that put that more of I suggest that you yeah I suggest that you protect us so we can escape alright PC 16 ways That's a failure. So he, he, fell? He, he you you say that he kind of blinks and turns around, looks at his friends and uh, rerolls saving throw because he has advantage on saving throws, and turn turns back around. <laughs> I will continue running. <laughs> I just realized he has resistance to those type of conditions. It was, it was a shot. It might have not been worth a shot, but it was. I mean, a it shot. was it was worth a shot. I mean, just because they have advantage doesn't mean they're actually going to succeed. Syrah. How much closer am I to Blair? Uh, you're probably, I would say, I'm going to say, uh, you guys can make it in probably about two more rounds. Mainly because uh, if you take out this one guy, you probably are free. <laughs> I know I'm really bad at chase, chase, <laughs> the chase mechanic. So there's basically one guy threatening us at the moment. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's been going after. Uh, basically, his current target is Gage. 
Uh, how far away was he? Uh, from mm -hmm. you, probably about sixty feet. Sixty. Well, you're you're way up in front. Uh, she'll drop one more leaps. Does he hurt? Yes. Yeah, uh, not as bad two. as the others, but... I'll drop a level 2 sleep on him. Okay. So that'll be a 78 question mark. Yes. There you go. He's, he's chasing after Gage and all of a sudden he falls flat on his face asleep. And she will keep running. Uh, the city is on high alert. Um, the ruckus caused by uh, the red dragon uh, down in the southern part of the city has caused a the entire city to be on alert. Uh, you do see some of the stone guards see you guys uh, run up, um, having been familiar uh, with your presence. Uh, one of them actually stops his... What is going on down there? Oh, we're not in... Okay, my bad. Right combat. The charge gone crazy. <laughs> There's people chasing us. Oh, who's who's yelling this? Uh, when the stone guard. Oh, perfect. Uh, uh, fire keepers are after us for some reason. Why are they after you? You no must have idea. done something wrong, didn't you? Nope. I was a stupid thing to say. Never tries to lose. He's angry for some reason. He's not crazy. All right, I'm gonna have to take you of, uh, take you to see the boss. Uh, uh, Follow me. Are we still being followed? Uh, you are Same currently way. now starting to be surrounded by uh, a nice cadre of uh, stone guard, and they That's would fine. like you to accompany them. As long as they're not trying to kill us. You're an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I just need to uh, go. We just need to get some stuff from the lair. Then we'll get there. No, we're going directly to the hold. Yeah, okay we don't have time this. for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. uh, you said something about the keepers being after you. The keepers are respectable citizens of the city. Uh, well, now they're going crazy and trying to kill the dragon and us at the same time. Oh, well, so... of course. It's probably about time. Oh, I must have. I heard rumors they had lost their dragon egg. <laughs> they must have found it. Just turn to Lester. You're a fucking how, idiot. How many are there? Uh, I'm probably about ten by now. Oh, well. Yeah. What, what are we doing? They uh, take you to uh, Over Lake Hold. And they put you into a cell. Okay. It says, boss, and, and they ask you to, to hand over your, your, uh, the tokens that the, uh, that Eridit gave you. It's okay, guys. Just, a, just one more day in this city and we'll be, we'll be gone.
Uh, they ask uh, you to relinquish all your equipment. You can keep your armor, but... They're asking me to relinquish my armor. You're basically yeah, under arrest. Armor. Your, your armor you can keep. <laughs> Just uh, weapons, bags, um, uh, any any of those type of possessions. So have they actually like handcuffed us per se, or like they're just asking us to give up? I mean, stuff? if it, right now they're being relatively polite about this, but if necessary, if you resist, they might have to take action and actually put you in, in shackles. Lasseter is okay with this. Don't worry, we keep good inventory of all, all your pos personal possessions. Should, should the captain uh, wish to release you, you will get everything that you give to us back. Guys, as, as long as we, we didn't do anything, we're fine. As long as these guys are good, hopefully. Um... We'll be out of here by tomorrow. Hopefully. I'm understanding I'm the full weight of actually what's going on right now. Crash is going to just... Uh, Cyrus... It may sound weird. I'm going to insight Karad. Karad. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Roll an insight check. Seventeen. Karad is. All right, well, d describe how Karad is actually feeling right now, because I'm sure he's not hiding it. <laughs> no, he's worried the fuck out. Like, Lasher is saying, "Oh, we didn't do anything wrong." Karad knows something wrong did happen. Uh... What? What did we do? <laughs> Well, you know besides I mean? the fact he also said the keepers were trying to chase after you and kill you. Yeah, I don't Karad, I don't Karad, know what's going on. Being somebody who's part of the keepers already knows that they are a they are citizens of the city. If the some they're or after somebody, yeah. there's probably a good reason. And a single fact. You heard Krad say, we destroyed the dragon's egg. Yeah. I don't understand what's, what's wrong this... with it. <laughs> and then you heard him say, oh, it's about time for them to kill them for charred. They must have gotten the egg back. How was I supposed to know that these guys are evil by the, by the time I said that? Who said anything about them being evil? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so here let let's let's put this into a let's let's get into a, a better situation here. So first off, do you relinquish your possessions as they are politely asking, oh, and yeah, basically threatening that if you don't, they will take them from you? Um, Unless everyone else shows. Gage, Gage does. I I will. <laughs> Okay, so Laster I'm, does. I'm looking at Karad to see what he's gonna, if he's backing up or not. If, if he's like showing resistance. Karad, Karad can tell right now he, that you're currently being arrested by the Stone Guard. They're doing it politely right now, but you know that they can easily turn not polite. <laughs> Karad's going. And now, and then all of a sudden, fucking chaos, man. Goes, all right, nope, fuck this. Enlarge on Holly. Holly, enlarge. Go crazy. All right, you need to make a new encounter. <laughs> I had a different idea, but. <laughs> it's what Crad can do. <laughs> I was going to dimension Dora's out. <laughs> 
I can only take one person with me. That's why I was looking at Karad like, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Let me see if I can... We ain't going. Nope. Hmm. For some reason, I can't remove them from the party. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this kind of differently. Because they're they're char you make character sheets for them and stuff. They are part of the campaign. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna try to to do this a little bit different. Need way too many times. I'm new to this whole encounter builder thing, so bear with me. I get it. Bear with you. Because mm -hmm. uh, right. Holly hadn't relinquished her axe yet, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> and if we get, if we fully get arrested, we fucked. I mean, this is actually in Cyrus' character because, according to my sword, I don't want to give it up. <laughs> no, that's true. All right. All right. I'm scared shitless all the time. There we go. This is what I want. I feel like I missed a couple of things. No, you did. It's true. Okay. <clears throat> so, we were asked by Chunky Boy to pretty much do things for the fire keepers and, but make sure we talk to him first uh, then Roger died and Crack King. told us that they're trying to possibly do something with this egg uh, so we have to find it We That's all the Lassiter knew. <laughs> we found it and you broke it. Yes. And then we went to Thimber Chart. And I told them that the egg was there to replace him. So I destroyed it. Yeah. He went on Rampage. Keepers don't like that. Because they were going to hatch the egg. And kill Thimber Chart. And use the new draggling, uh, wormling to replace him. Yeah. Brad didn't want that. Okay, so in this sense, the fire keepers are the bad guys. In Crad's mind. In all reality, no. Oh, that makes much more sense. The. What the, the Keepers of the Flame were doing was what they always did. Okay. So I am lost because I just don't have all the information. So, well, you don't have all the information because you haven't asked the right questions. <laughs> right. Okay. So... I was just trying to make sure I wasn't lost because of me. Just <laughs> I no. Don't know. You have the information that I've said so far is the information that you have, right? Okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and how to connect it to everything?
Oh, we're just gonna we're just creating a uh, a map this time. We got all our the the Lassiter. Well, assuming this is like the thing that uh, the place that uh, is letting you. So I would say here, here. Okay, he just I'm been right giving up his things. I'm right there because I needed to touch Holly. And Holly is now now much larger. Oh, I didn't actually have to do that. I actually has a range. Pretty feet, but that's fine. <laughs> and with that. Full initiative. <laughs> I was gonna feel slightly bad because I was about to dimension door crawl and I out of there. <laughs> You're like, bye, Lassiter. <laughs> Nothing well, says you still out. can't. <laughs> bye. <laughs> we'll come back. Oh, Leslie. Right. Ooh, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> Set up the. I love that laugh. I love that laugh. That means <laughs> chaos. Oh. Oh yes. Yeah. And so we got as soon as I think the fire round last year was fourteen. And Brad was Brad encounter. Um question before we start. Mm -hmm. I see Silva up here. Is she actually there, or is she just... Uh, she was on the map when I opened it up, so... Okay. So you could get her, if you want to get her. Well, yeah, like, Roderick was still on this map, too, so I was like... <laughs> uh, I just second question. It um, I don't think the spell says so. Let me make sure. We're fine familiar. Uh... Da da da, you gain familiar, all that fun crap, yada yada. Rolls its own initiative. Dismiss it forever, which I don't want to do. Okay, so it does take an action. All right. Yeah, we can have to have you just take it after your after your turn. We'll share your initiative. Okay. Just make it easy. I feel like you would have had you would have had um him out this whole time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't really say she was out, so I didn't want to cheat it. Right, Holly. I would like to rage. So I'm guessing it's been over a minute since the fight to okay. now. The last fight to now. Okay. Yeah. Rage. Uh, we'll do... This one. Okay. Deck save. That's one, two, three. That was me. Doing that fails. So then three lightning. Uh, it, the DC is, um, 15. Get shocked for three lightning damage. And then that same one, Reckless, Great Weapon Master. Mm -hmm. Ooh, actually, here's a question. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's not my turn yet.
And that misses. Same. These guys seem to be heavily armored. Attack two. One second, I was trying to remember something. And we'll do the whole great weapon master reckless again. And that'll miss too. Does not hit. Anything else? I uh, bonus action action. Yeah. Yeah. Brad. The one who starts the fights. Burning hands. All right, against the dude right below be, you. Yeah. That's a uh, sixteen dex save. Uh, Thirty dex race. Ooh. One saves. The other one saves. They both save. So seven. Twelve damage. Now be turn. Alright. These two are gonna come up to you. Makes sense. Uh oh wait, no, it's Cyrus reverse. Excuse me. We're going out of order. Put them back. Actually this one was there all along. They weren't on a square. I need to get them in this square. Uh, that one's in a square. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it was that one's. Uh, Lassiter, what's the name of your familiar? You could look at Not the uh, character list. Oh, Is no, it? hold on. Um... Lil Borcat. Is he is he summoned? He's always summoned. He he, he doesn't I, he, he tries to have control, he doesn't have much control, so he's 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 right now uh sitting on Lassiter's neck, uh looking very <sighs> She'll she'll pull out her sword and start her blade singing for a second time. Mm-hmm. And she'll turn to to Lassiter and 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 ask, does uh does Borcat do you and Borcat trust me? <laughs> the familiar looks at you kind of like with a huh. <laughs> you can you can respond, Lassiter. Yes. She'll she'll point to about here, mm. or I guess here, because I don't want him to get hurt. Could you be a deer and, and fly right over there? And I'm going to ready a spell. Okay. The spell is ready. Right, so, well, okay. what spell are you ready? By the way. Do I have to say it before? <laughs> yes, you have to declare your, declare what your spell. Just just keep in mind that if if it goes off, then mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, or if it doesn't go off, you still spend the spell slot. So, oh, well, I'm more. It'll go off. Okay. <laughs> Unless right. someone tries to counterspell me. All right, spell ready, Lassiter. 
Uh, do you want a little bark ad to just go ahead and fly over there? Yeah, I was gonna go at, I was gonna tell him to go get help, but sure. Uh, he'll go over there. Um, yeah, he could probably and... go over here anyways. Okay. Like that? Is that what you're looking for? Huh. As long as he doesn't get hurt. Get in there. Okay. Uh, could I... Uh, do, do. So, by the way, when Borkat goes over there, your really action goes off. And I shall cast Polymorph on Borkat. <laughs> what are you polymorphing him to? A T-Rex. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I was and that's why I was laughing. I was like, okay. Is he as big as a T Rex? Oh yeah. yeah. yeah he's an actual T Rex. He's oh, about okay. to be. Okay, so that's why I want Sarah, him over here. You 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 <laughs> cast polymorph on, on him and I imagine you kind of use your your sword as kind of a spell casting po focus sort of thing, or like a, a like as if it was a wand, and, mm -hmm. and just go like do do a few swooshes, and then all of a sudden this gold dragon, this tiny gold dragon, swoosh, boosts up to the size of an actual T Rex. Uh, little Borkat looks around like. Rawr! And crunches down on the one in front of Syra. So. <laughs> so if you, so I don't know if you know, Lasseter, if you go on D and D Beyond's Extras tab, you, well, unless I don't know if you, if if Win can do it, but he basically has multi attack, and he has a bite attack and a tail attack. We do one of each at. Uh, it has SP. to be a two separate target, so. So the bite is a 4d12 plus 7. And, and if you want me to, I can take control of them. I, I, I can do the attack for you. Yeah. Okay. Please. So it's a 4d12 plus 7 and can grapple if it hits. Yeah. So, uh, I got, I got the stats up. Uh, so okay. here, here's what happens. So you cast a spell with the intent of, uh, normal T-Rex. That was your intent. You don't know where this creature actually came from, uh, but when it turns into a T-Rex, um, its face doesn't look like a normal T-Rex, and its uh, <laughs> hide is actually just completely gold. Gold scales. Scaled. Scaled, and the face looks like in adult gold dragon it's a golden t-rex with, with the ditto face uh not with the ditto face it's it's an actual <laughs> gold dragon face that's my head cannon <laughs> ditto face. so and, and he just goes down right on the the Durgar that's in front of you uh for for a bite uh, does he go on my turn, or does is he getting his own? Yeah, I'm basically you're familiar, so I'm just having you go on on your turn. Since you had him fly over there, I'm just going to take his turn uh, quickly. Okay. Then you'll know. So he bites down and uh, crunches. Uh, I'm going to change this slightly. Rolls always roll. And I want you to auto roll. You. This makes things easier. Uh, for 44 piercing damage. And uh, he kind of picks it up in his mouth and kind of shakes. Shakes and while he's doing it. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, and crunches down on this Durgar, completely annihilating him. <laughs> actually, with 44 piercing damage. Oh, that was one, two, three, four, five, three, forty-four. Damage. That's dead. 
Yay. Uh, so I'm just... Boop. Crunch. Uh, and he whips his tail around. Kind of like, it really doesn't look like he's actually, like, trying to, to hit anybody, but his tail does whack the, the Durgar right next to him. Uh, or it, it doesn't actually it whack the one right next to him, I should say. Roll the one. Wah, wah. All right, Lasser. You just saw a little Borkad turn into a giant T, a gold T, uh, tyran Tyrannosaurus dragon. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, c uh, apparently he's getting into the to the thick of it because he just like in seemed to over enthusiastically uh, crunch down on a Duragar. Cool. Can I still take an action? Yeah, it's your action. That was uh, that was Borcat. Now it's oh, your turn. Get. <laughs> okay. uh, I will um, whisper over to Cage. Say. Uh, uh, I'll You've already handed here. over your effects, by the way. <laughs> huh? You already handed over your effects. My effects? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that's you, cool. You have no equipment with you right now. It's fine. Um, I can still cast spells, right? Uh, do you, um, yeah, I would say you probably somehow slip past your holy symbol. Oh, yeah. Warlocks don't... They still need a thingy. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would say... Uh, and I, I'm one who I'm not that finicky about having, like, the after spe the warlock spellcasting focus and the cleric cast spellcasting focus. Because they're two different things. Uh, they're both... Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. And your patron will... kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I will cast darkness on myself. Just oh, okay. Uh, what's the radius? Fifteen, I believe. Okay. Well, what is it? Give me the actual ones. Get the spell it's, if you need to. It's fifteen. The 15. radius is fifteen. Darkness. Uh, range sixty says fifteen foot square or sphere. So. Um. Let's see, that's uh, twenty-three. Uh, one, two, three. Oop. And I'll, um, I'll take Gage's hand or shoulder or whatever's, uh... Hmm. Oh, I need to zoom in here so I can actually grab this. There it is. So, right there. Yeah. I'm hoping ah! to move with Gage. So we're gonna try to drag him. Yeah, but okay, not so really half dragging. Movement. But yeah, uh, pretty. Well, much. if you're gonna if you're gonna pull him, it still is as if you're like dragging something. So. Well, I I was hoping that before I uh, I casted it, I told him to like follow me. And... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're moving with him, it's still gonna be half movement. I am. You can't get around the half movement part. I'm just moving right there. Oh, you're gonna stay next to to uh, Duragar that will easily come out of the darkness and see you standing right there. Well, you can't see me unless he has. Dark yeah, but he, he could take one step, and there you are. <laughs> the, the darkness is cast on me. Yeah, it follows. So from a point you choose within range, darkness spreads around corners. If the source moves, oh, and... it's Warren that it moves. Okay. Sorry. I thought it was one of those like you plant a sphere in the ground. You can choose it on a point in the ground, yes, but you also can choose it to, on like an item. Yeah, I thought that you could only do that. That's the thing. So. Anyways, moving on. So you and Gage are in darkness. Uh, uh, one of the Dorgar uh, sees the darkness move over 
and now can see a void of darkness near him. Oh, that's my turn. Okay, cool. I, yeah. Uh, he's going to lash out at the darkness. I thought that you heard me hear somebody say that, huh? I attack the darkness. <laughs> it's two short, short sword attacks uh, into the darkness at disadvantage. Wow. That was at disadvantage. 19 and an 18. That's, uh... I mean, where is he attacking, though? He, he, he's attacking at the spot right next to him. He hit Gage. Uh, so that was for... for, for uh... Oh. A real damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it did. Eight damage. Yeah, just ow. <laughs> He's gonna make another attack, seeing that that one hit. I'm gonna disadvantage. Ah, uh, he misses on the second attack. All right, Durgar number two can't see a thing. Starts lashing out wildly. Gonna make attack with his his short sword. Uh, Lassiter odds or evens? Uh, let's go with even. Cool. Does a 20 hit you? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, Take 10 points of damage as a random uh, blade you can't see uh, hits you. And you hear a Durgar voice go, Ah! Over here! How much? 10 points of damage. I have to do a concentration check. Okay. DC 10. There you go. 17 hit you? Yes! Okay. Take another 6 points of damage. That's like... Okay. Um, he was gonna randomly lash out in which direction that he had you had you choose by a random roll. I'm sorry. How much damage again? All right. So he took a total of 16 damage between the two hits. I don't remember how much damage the last one gave. So the first hit from the Durgar was 10 points of damage. The second hit was for 6 points, so you took a total of 16. Okay. Uh... Awesome. Yeah, you're fine. This one's going to come up and uh, attack Cyrus. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, standing here within uh, five feet of an ally that's yielding a shield. Cool. Oh, I'm sure 25 hits you, right, Syra? Uh, not if I cash. Shield as a reaction. Okay, cool. Uh, so likelihood that there that he's going to be able to hit you with shield. You have to hit a net twenty, which he does not get. So 
Two attacks against you. Miss it. Next one oh, turns. Oh, Go ahead. Next one turns toward the uh, Aranosaurus. Yeah, that's not too bad. And I probably could look, just look up here. And uh, he has advantage because he's next to an ally, has an ally within five feet of him that wielding a shield. Mm, that'll hit. Really measly six points of damage. Grunts. And it's like, oh, should have done this. <laughs> and he gets big. Alright, next one's dead. Uh, next one after that. Uh, seeing the big T-Rex will, uh, do the same thing. It's another enlarge. Yeah, come on, make big. Thank you. And now that he's big, he also has an ally within five feet of him, which is, uh, yielding a shield. So, attack against the big monster. 21, that hits. Uh, doing 9 points of damage. Sky. Use what his fellows are doing and do the same thing. Moves up here to the enlarged holly. Makes an attack, attack against holly. I think went reckless last turn anyways. Uh, misses with a double one. Second one. 21 hit Holly. Yeah. All right. Takes 14 points of damage. 14. So seven. Yeah, because she's raging. Next guy! Well, gets big. Again. Well, as well. Posers. Uh, just happens to have somebody next to him who wield the new shield, so he gets advantage on attack, and also Holly is, you know, rec went reckless. Uh, 21? Yep. And takes 10 points of damage. 5. Attack number two. Uh, 13 probably doesn't hit. No. Cool. Everybody's getting a large round, Karad and and Holly. Uh, this one is going to go after Karad. Whoop. 21 hits you, I'm assuming? Field. Attack number two. 20 does not hit. Because nope. you still have to shield up. That's until the end of your next turn. Or until the beginning of your next turn, right? Yes. Until the start of your next turn, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Hey, guess what this last one's doing? Going big. Big. And he's going to go after Crab. Uh, that'll miss. Hey, shield fell. That'll miss. Wait. One of the best first level spells ever. Oh, totally. Gage doesn't have a weapon. Uh, so he's going to attempt to, uh, grapple. He's going to poke out of the, the darkness, see the guy who has all this stuff. 
and uh, grapple him to try to wrestle away uh, the hilt of Dawnbreaker. Make a pose the left like check to pull it away. Sixteen. Versus. And he gets his weapon back. Mm -hmm. And with that, he's going to pop out. The avatar pop back into the darkness. It's it. Uh, I imagine how this actually happens is is he comes out, wrestles away a dawnbringer. Just a hilt, so it's not lit or anything. Goes back into the shadows, and then his shadow kind of like comes out of the darkness and comes up next to uh, Karad. Echo, I should say. And back to the top. Ollie is surrounded. Target rich environment. Hmm? Target rich environment. Yes. Deck number one. Uh, reckless, great weapon master. That'll hit. Uh, wait a minute, hold on. Is that be, minus the five? It'll be a... No, so... Uh, because it's my t minus five, right? So it would be... Uh, yeah, that, that one is. Okay. Again. That'll miss. 17? That'll miss. It hits on... He, he blocks it with the shield. Um, let's get a dex save from him then. Not very dexterous, so might start pinging it down. And which one was? Oh, with that he saved. Never mind. Oh, so it's two, yeah. So, that was A B C D E F. Wait, A B C D E F. Am I missing one? Not kind of right. Be ten. A B C D E. One's F, dead. G H. Okay, it is H. I was counting wrong. Or doing my alphabet wrong. So, uh, what was the damage? Uh, two. Two. Okay. All right, that's our turn. Mm -hmm. All right, Karad, uh, you've got some really big, very armored uh, dwarves around you. Uh, we're going to do another burning hands, and since they're big this time, thinking that's going to hit all three. Yeah. They'll hit. This one, this one, and this one, though. Yeah, I'll say sure. I'm trying to figure so, out how to draw a cone. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really... I mean, the only real cone they really have... Uh... Fire... Have a breath, so it's like... I like that. I like that. I'll say it nicks all of them. Inside. All right. Fifteen fails. 
fails and definitely fails. Will you all take 18 fire damage? Alright. This one looks pretty rough. Oh. This one looks pretty rough. This one looks hard. This one looks pretty rough as well. That's Syra. Gotta change that. One, two, three, four. And two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. I can move it. So right outside of range of hitting Holly. I'm going to... Hmm? You can get three of them. Yep. I am going to pluck two beads of my necklace of fireball and chuck it. So... Increases by one level, so it's going to be a level four fireball. Right, what's the DC? It is a DC 15 because it goes off of the necklace's DC. Uh, dexterity Fail. save. Fail. And fail. They all fail. Alright, and you will take. 35 damage. I'll pop two uses of my necklace gone. And that's all I care to do. If I can't do anything else with my bonus action. Lasseter, do you want uh, your T-Rex friend to go first, or would you like to go first? T-Rex can go first. I, I have a question about darkness. Okay. Imprisoning. So, in his raging rampage, little Borkat will uh, attempt to chop down on uh, the one next to him. Little Borkat, no, no longer little. Yep. Um... Sadly, he cannot grapple the creatures because they're too large. But you can still bite them. Uh, 25 will hit. And doing 29 points of damage. That is A, B, C, D. Against guard F, who's not looking pretty good. Gonna whack him with his tail, or at least try to. Oh! Well! Considering he was almost dead anyways, um, this Durgar uh, goes flying against the wall. And, like, splatters. Turns Go back play a little game of whack fuck. Whack. Um, if a Tyrannosaurus could laugh, uh, the uh, Tyrannosaurus is actually laughing. Uh, Laster, you hear some uh, strange sounds coming out off from the direction of where the little Borkai went, which sounds like some sort of monster making some sort of chuckle. Oh, I can still see him. Oh, that's right. Twilight, right? Uh, 
Uh, no, I just have uh, yeah. invocation, devil sight. No, I thought there was yeah. something with the the twilight character. Player. Twilight get um dark vision up to three hundred feet. Yeah. And you can oh. give it to the party. But anyways, you can see it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Or can so have my... anything? Uh, good old time. <laughs> my question was um uh is this is this really a fifteen foot Radius spare? Actually, you're right. Um, nope, he's 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 absolutely one, correct. Two, three, he needs to go one, two, three. Because we we need radius sphere. It's um, actually, oh, that's big. That looks better. Oh. Uh, uh. One. Can I is give myself an aura? Is it? Uh, yeah, actually. Hold on. I can, I can do that. Okay. Uh, 15. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, That'll that's work. better. This is on. Okay. Um, excuse me, got a cough. Um, I am going to inflict wounds on this guy that's next to me at second level. If you stand uh, up here and give yourself advantage. Well, I, I have advantage he, anyway. He, yeah, because he's in, he true. can't see him. That's true. Right, yeah, and there's wall actually wall. technically a building there. <laughs> or a wall there. Huh. I'll let it. Fifteen? Damage? And if he still looks like he's not dead, I'm going to... Uh, well, he, he hasn't been hit yet. Until you so, just hit him. Yeah. It, oh wait, uh, I'm thinking about Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast gets two hits. Inflict wounds does not. Um, well, uh, that's that's all I got. <laughs> I believe. Uh, boop boop boop. Uh, spiritual weapon is a. Uh. Leveled spell and it's a bonus action. Yeah. So you've already cast a level spell, so you can't yeah. cast a spiritual weapon. But yeah, that's uh oh actually I'll move um back some. I'm I'm sure Gage can handle himself now. Okay. Just give him a boop and then move backwards. Alright, does an 18 hit you? Yes. Okay, cool. At advantage, right? Alright. I mean, disadvantage, well, right? Disadvantage, yeah, that's with disadvantage. Uh, it takes six more points of damage as, uh, kind of hearing that you're moving away, he swipes out and strikes you. Thick. Okay, that's fine. Um. Advantage. You, you you can tell he can't see you, but he he knows that you're there. I mean, you just touched him. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Uh, Stone Guard. Uh, see, knowing that he hit somebody before, uh, and uh, now being able to at least see a little bit. He's like partially in darkness. And you can kind of like step to the other side of his five foot square. <laughs> and he's gonna lash out into the darkness. Actually, he's gonna see see Gage over here and he's gonna come over here and attack. And then misses. Gonna attack again. 
And he hits. And Gage of Shatter disappears. Uh... So he's going to swing in the direction of, of Lassiter and completely whiff. And he's going to kind of like swing back around and uh, see if he can hit somebody else. Blindly. Disadvantage. And he doesn't hit anything. Hey. I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm trying. I'm probably being a rules lawyer, but um. Mm -hmm. Opportunity attack states that you can uh, uh, take an opportunity attack on someone that you can see moving away from you. I would say in this case, because one, you just touched him <laughs> by to inflict wounds. He knows where you are, so he can attempt to make an attack, but it's a disadvantage. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, even if you can't necessarily see him, you, you can still hear. Uh, yeah. So that that's where I, I my rulings kind of go. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to point that out. Right. This guy's got to uh, get a little frustrated uh, and move in the opposite direction of where you were. Went out here. Uh, seeing all these people enlarged, uh, and come over here and attack card. My advantage because these next two people were wielding your shield. Uh, 13 will not hit Karad. I'm assuming, right? And another attack against you. Nope, that's not going to hit. <laughs> He's kind of flustered from his being wound afflicted. Alright. Next guy. Ah, uh, he's going to cast some large. Fill up the space. Jack Syra. Ooh. He crits. He is enlarged. Let's double the damage dice. Edge. Uh, take 17 points of uh, damage, Lyra. And yes, I know they're mm. not being visibly rolling for you. Okay. Uh, that was... I don't do math well. 66 minus 17 or 16? 17. 17. Okay. Um, I believe that was just his first attack. The second one. Uh, 23 hit you. 23? Yes. 2-3. Uh, math. Math, math, math. Uh, shield again. A, B, C, D. Okay. Give me a hint. One doesn't like being hit by this big old T-Rex. I'm going to attack the T-Rex. Oh, misses. Yep. That's again. Uh, getting really flustered from the the T Rex. Uh, one's dead. Next one. Attack Holly. Uh, Fourteen. I'm assuming doesn't hit Holly. Uh, Nineteen hit Holly. Does the 19 hit Holly? 
Sorry, I thought I unmuted. Yes. Takes a measly three points of damage. So one? No, it's uh, six, but uh, half yeah. to three. Excuse me. Apologize. I forget, you can't see the rolls. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Damn it. Can I delete one of the... Oh, there it is. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. That's that one. So. This one's dead. Wait, what is that? I have one extra one dead. Did I mark the wrong one dead? I think I marked the wrong one dead. Yeah, yeah. There's one over yeah. here. Oh. Is it, this one supposed to be dead? I know this one's dead. This that one's, one's dead. dead. This that one's one. dead. And this one's dead. Okay, so there's three dead. Yeah. Forgot to mark one of them off. At some point, I this one. rode my AC to be 14 for some reason. And I fixed it. I've been hit twice mm. now that I shouldn't have been hit. Uh, don't worry about it for right now. Yeah. Oh, and I owe you a con save because you hit me with that. Oh, okay. That's funny. So that was 17 damage. So DC 10. All right. With advantage because of Warcaster. 18. 18. Save. Little Barkad is still a T Rex. Alright, so this one's gonna uh, make an attack at Holly. For 16. Alright, what? Is uh, 16 hit Holly? No. Alright, meets it. Meets it? Okay, meets it, beats it. Oh, rolled around. Dang. Uh, nine reduced to four. And attack number two. Uh, 25 will definitely hit. Or 12 reduced down to six. All right, moving on to the next one. We've got Pride going to be attacked yet again. Twenty-three. Yeah, no, even pointing and shielding a twenty-three is still going to meet it. It's still going to go past it. Take eleven points of damage. And 15, I'm assuming that misses. Yes. Con save is for enlarge. Yeah. I mean, you saved. Yeah. Alright. Gage. Uh... Yeah, let me take a look at something.
Gabe, set, uh, Gabe Gage steps out of the darkness uh, and starts attacking this. Sometimes. Dealing 16 points of damage. on the second one and takes a step back into the darkness. Ollie. Um Which the ones have hurt her the most? This one this one. I'm gonna go after this one. Same deal. Great weapon master, reckless. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna hit. That misses. That'll hit. Okay. I was about to say, like, that should hit. So. 22 damage. Falls over dead. And then, uh, deck save from this one. Oh, fudge. Uh, fails. So it still takes the one point of damage. By the way, the uh, large ones do look pretty rough. Mm -hmm. so. All the enlarged ones? Uh, actually, this one doesn't look too bad. We're going to change that. Crad! You're pretty surrounded by two large Durgar, one not large Durgar, another large Durgar close by. We're going to go like this. So that should hit all three, right? Yes, and I'm, probably gauge. Yeah, uh, which is fine because I'm going to careful cast Thimber uh, Charles Blaze. Okay. Um, so he auto succeeds. The, pro the problem is you can't see gauge. But okay. You're shooting into darkness. You technically do not know where well, Lasser or Gage are. Has Gage popped out before? Yeah, but you don't know where he went when he went back in. But based off last time I saw him, I would think You'd he probably might probably estimate, yeah. So I was still carefully cast like, it just in fine. case. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, so, I'll give that to you. Um. 
So yeah, I'll go ahead and careful cast. So if Gage will be hit, he auto succeeds. And then. Yeah. All right, roll damage. Not the. Uh. Wait a sec. Because. And two. Okay. It does do it, so. So 15, is that right? Yes. Bonk. And then since I used a meta magic. At the start, okay, let's just see how this rolls first. Those two still up, these two still up. Yep. All right, so this one at the start, I'm going to um, use my elemental essence shard. Um, on the start of his next turn, mm -hmm. he's going to take um, 2d10 fire damage. Okay, cool. Fire uh, Is this space able to be stood up? I know there's yes. a building here. Yes. But mm -hmm. I'm going to bonus action, Misty Step. Poof over here. Mm -hmm. and since I am in line with my T Rex buddy, mm -hmm. I will rapier this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that sucks. Yep. That'll miss. Wow. All right, try it again. That'll hit. So, 10 damage. Alright. That's it. The T-Rex, for some reason, looks now, now looks uh, a little disappointed. <laughs> Aww. Lassie! Do you want to go first, or do you, would you like your T-Rex buddy to, to go? T-Rex can go. Hmm. Alright. They're gonna clomp over here. And uh, attempt to chomp down on this big boy. Chomp! Why is this... Eh, that'll hit. Ooh. Nasty. For 29 damage. That one's not looking too good. Alright. Lassie. Oh. Thought he Richard. had a tell attack. Um Well, he he can't do it against the same target and he doesn't have another target in range. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, uh, or guiding bolt, second bolt, um, second level at, uh, the guy that, uh, this one, or cat just bit. Okay, cool. That's the big guy. Think your attack. No, I didn't want to. Oh. Uh, well, that was supposed to be an advantage. So I'll just go ahead roll and again. roll again. 
There we go. I'll hit. 16 damage. 16 points of damage. Oh, so, you want to either these shiny names. So, your name? out of the darkness, a shining bolt of light. Uh, or actually, how does your guiding bolt look? Uh, Bahamut is usually like blue, right? Platinum. Platinum. It's a platinum dragon. Uh, uh, well, I, I, it would either be a combination of platinum and excuse me, platinum and gold, maybe. Sure. Yeah. But it's like brilliant light is shining metallic uh, streak of light just burst right through the chest of this giant uh, uh, large Durgar and he uh, keels over shrinking down back to his normal size dead uh, roar comes out from the uh, Tyrano Dragon Rex All right. This guys are going to come over here. And attack Karad. Makes you flex formation. Uh, 12 misses. And advantage Karad again. Uh, 14 misses. All right. Roll me 2d10, Crad. I think it's 2d10, you said, right? Yeah. Uh, 10 fire damage. 10 fire damage. How does this look? It's just a bit like... You, you see the um, gem that's wrapped around his palm just like light up? I guess he's like just like casting spells and stuff, and then the door guard just like whooshes up in flames as he yeah, and it gets engulfed by flames and burns into ashes. Steaming hotter, like from the elemental plane of fire. All right, guys, dead. No witnesses. We only got like no, two guys up, right? One. Oh, oh yeah. There's this big guy here. There's. Who's dead? Yeah. Cool. Uh, he's going to attack Karad. And he crits. For 15 points of damage. Field would still make it go through. Since it's a crit. Yep. Well, it's, uh, 26 was the total. Oh, then heck yeah, that'll still go through. So you said 15? Mm hmm. That was his first attack. And second attack misses. Swings wide. Gage is gonna go. Come over here. Give me the advantage. Attack this guy. Come on, gang. Satellite. Make four. For 12 points a day. Edge will kill you. Holly only has one in tar uh, one one target. Then 
That will be our target. Usual. Being an 18. Then, yeah. Go do it. Hit. Weapon master. Roll the damage. Actually, probably don't even need to roll the damage, but roll the damage for fun. For funsies. 23 points of damage. He only had 8 life left. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that is it. Uh, imagine right now that the city is on a uh, citywide alert. Everything's burning. There's bodies in the, in the street. Alright. You can uh, collect your gear or gauge and, and lasser can quickly collect their gear. And uh, due to all the chaos, you run out of the hold, head over to the lair. I'm assuming that's where you want to go first. Yeah. Yep. That's where it's... we're running towards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we, we can take some time here. So you run over to the lair. Um, the fire and everything seems, uh, there still seems to be a commotion down south. Uh, you can see, see vaguely the, see some smoke rising, um, uh, from the south. Um, you don't see as many guards around right now, uh, possibly trying to quell the unrest down south. Now, if you head over to the lair, uh, there's much talk in, in the taverns about something happening. Um, Gage uh, looks pretty beat up. Um, uh, I think I can uh, kill Gage, both, Gage. Gage, both Gage and Holly are pretty beat, beat up. And Crad. Oh. I have three spell slots. Uh, who's more beat up? Probably Holly. Yeah, Ollie's below half. I'm just just above half. Gage is below half too. <laughs> Gage and Holly are probably relatively equivalent. Uh, Gage will get a second level cure wounds. Nineteen health, and. Holly will get a uh I'm sorry, mind blank. Um one uh first level cure wounds, Jesus. And so will Karad. Right? Oh the nineteen goes to nineteen, 19 goes was... to eight. Gage, 15 to Holly. Okay. Um, were you the one that needed health as well? Um. Sure, yeah. If you look beat up, I'm going to hurt you anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, I look beat up. 16. And Still, now I am useless unless you like Eldritch Blast. <laughs> seeing, seeing you all uh, kind of beat up, Stool runs up to you and he goes, What's happening? Uh, Runt comes up and basically all life kind of runs to get out of here. <laughs> we need to leave this, this, this city immediately. And everybody rushes off, uh, grabs their stuff from the rooms. Exposition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. And uh, you all head off. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're heading toward Nether Lake Grove, right? Yes. Yes. Right. Question. Sarah, you know the direction, right? 
Of course he like, does. Oh, yes, yes, Nether, and like, girl, let's go there. And he, 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 we go out the other side, the gates on the other side of the city. Uh, you rush through uh, the Dark Lake District, uh, get to the gates, exit out into the tunnels, and are able to rush into um, the darkness of the Underdark. Uh, after traveling for about an hour, an hour and a half, everybody seems to be getting kind of tired. Well, actually, you guys are getting kind of tired. Everybody else has been kind of rusted. But it's still, you would probably feel like it would have been something like a later in the afternoon. Uh, so you weren't able to make it far probably a few miles uh, outside of Grackelstug. I need all who wants to try to find a good hiding spot. Only a survival check. Definitely not crud. But I will do. We'll say Elder. Edith or Eldith or whatever her name is. Good job, Eldest. Better than mine, but good job. Uh, I would say that Holly actually spots a, a good little nook at Calvern. It's a little tight uh, and cozy, but um, enough that it will provide some cover and for some watches. Uh, allowing you to uh, take a night's rest. I think that's actually a good place to end the escape from Grackelstug. Uh, uh, what's his name? Lasseter, he will just throw his stuff to like wherever and just lay down. Uh, Sarah will summon Silver to keep watch as best she can while we rest. I will create bonfire and start cooking for everyone. Oh, roll me a roll me a dexterity cooking. So dex with proficiency. Yes. Roll to food poison us. 25. <laughs> Crab makes everybody a very hearty and tasty meal. <laughs> it's real food? It, it's delicious. It is delicious. Oh. Uh, do you put a little bit of heat in there? Oh, it's always a bit, at least a little spicy. And I will say, uh, as the first night out, I would definitely say you all get a long rest. And I think I already had you guys level, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no, so. you I... don't lie. <laughs> yeah, be leveled up. Um, and yeah. and regards yeah, level to... eight, is that right? Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. Gage has not leveled. Um, we while doing all this, um, while cooking everything, um, I'll also create three treats. Um, I give one to Syra, Gage, and Holly. They all get three temporary hit points at the at the end of the law, like. Once we finish the long rest, they get that. Thank you. I took the chef feet. <laughs> Three temporary hit points, and that was for Gage, Holly, Holly, and Syra, since there are melee people. 
and they'll get that at the like end of the long rest. Because I I created the, the treats at the end, like right. when I finish. But that's so. where we'll call it for the evening. We only got ten minutes left, and it's a good place to stop. So, thank you for all for watching. If you're watching, and we'll see you next time. And bears and dragons out of the abyss. Ha, 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 ha.